started it years ago, I think uh, 2000. We had a player, Daniel Lacroix, actually, who he and I had talked, and it seemed like he wanted to do something and reach out to the community, and it seemed to be a really neat thing to talk about the value of learning a second language and having these kids, A, utilize their French and meet a player and talk back and forth, but really see that this is important. Like, here's a guy that's, you know, native language is French, and he comes in and, you know, he has to adjust uh, all the time with new teams and reading plays and what have you. So um, we started it then, and then every year that we do have, you know, unfortunately some years we don't have guys that are French, but uh, this year, like, Guillaume Debien has been awesome, and he's gone to a ton of schools, and and the kids really relate to them. They get excited about it. They're using their French. They're they're, they're valuing it as a second, you know, a second language, and it's it's really a, a really unique kind of uh, endeavor. Well, today was very exciting having Guillaume Debian here because, first of all, his presence in the class in the classroom, and then the fact that he spoke two languages, mm -hmm. and the kids could hear that. So that was just an exciting thing for them. The language they're studying it opened it up their world up a little bit. <laughs> je suis sous contrat avec euh, no, notre équipe est affiliée avec les Canucks, donc euh, j'adore j'adore les Canucks. He asked me if I like the Canucks more than the Red Wings and. Uh, I do, and our team is affiliated with the Canucks. Um, I was just—I thought it was really great that um, they had the opportunity to hear someone besides their four female French teachers that are all American <laughs> speak French with, you know, a, with a true accent and a true exposure to the language. Uh, oui, j'ai. Uh, il m'a demandé si j'avais des enfants. Uh, oui, j'ai une petite fille qui est née uh, le 16 décembre. Uh, I have a little girl that was born about uh, two months ago, December 16. So. It was a ton of fun and it was very informative and interesting. I think it's a really great opportunity for students to use their French and to be able to interact with it with a really cool person from our Chicago. Uh, you know, it kind of keeps me young. I like going back to high school and I see all these kids, uh, you know, they're all happy and like, you know, they're youthful and they're just uh, asking questions and I don't know, it just keeps me young and like it just brings me back to when I used to go to high school and it's good memories so it's, it's nice to to see them and obviously speaking French is, is awesome. Like I said, I don't I don't have I don't get to practice it that much these days, so it's nice to go back to it a little bit. I was thrilled that our students asked tons and tons of questions from our French ones through our French threes who tried out things that they had just learned even this week. Um, so the students were really engaged and asked each other how to say things so they could ask more questions. So it was a great experience for them to get some real live um, see someone who speaks this as a native language. I think it's really important for the players to go out in the community and do these kind of outreach programs, whether it's the Read to Succeed program or the French visits that we do at the high schools, um, just to get one, our name, the Chicago Wolves, out into the community and then also just to get fans exposed to um, the players as, as, as people and not just uh, people, players on the ice. I mean, Read to Succeed, it's, a, it's about setting a goal and achieving a goal. So it's never been about just the kid that reads the most books. It's really just about, hey, if my goal is to read 20 minutes a day or three books a week, like set a goal, achieve a goal, and we're going to reward you. And then our players go out and talk about, A, you know, if they have an education, the role that that plays in their life as a professional athlete, but just also that they read on the road or how important it is to utilize, you know, your brain as a muscle as much as, you know, the rest of your body. So. Um, yeah, this year's been great. We've had a ton of guys do it. Brad Hunt's been amazing. Uh, Mike Davies, Kevin Connaughton's done a ton. So it's, um, it's good because each guy has a different message. So even if you're going to different libraries to see them, every guy's message, albeit about reading, is still different and, and really relates to the kids. You know, I think, I think it's important uh, to maintain, you know, reading your whole life. And you guys are in the best position being young right now. Um, I remember my parents used to always try and get me to keep reading and I didn't always want to at times but I definitely uh, wish I had read more when I was younger. Uh, well every year um, we participate in the Chicago Wolves Read to Succeed program. Um, we have lots of participants and more every year including um, more and more girls I'm noticing and so it just makes it a lot of fun to keep reading during those winter months. Uh, with us saying it, we can encourage uh, it to happen a little more. I know that I wish I read more when I was younger, and it does pay off and pays a lot of dividends. So uh, hopefully uh, by them coming here to the library today, they're, they're going to go home and uh, have a new perspective about it. Uh, we ask that they read 100 minutes a week, which is kind of a lofty goal, and, and they meet that. And, and 
That's our, that's our biggest goal, to keep kids reading and to make it fun. And the Chicago Wolves and the um, prizes and um, the player visits make it that much more fun. Obviously, they're sitting there and paying attention and, and uh, they're listening to uh, you know, the things that we say when we, we come to these things. And I think it's important to uh, always do stuff you enjoy, and even when it comes to reading. Uh, obviously, uh, if, you, if you are forced to read a book about a topic you don't necessarily like, uh, it might be a little harder to go and pick it up. But if you enjoy it, you know, hopefully you can find one that you can't put down. We do a lot. Our goal is to do as much as we can to give back to the community. I think it's really important as a sports team to give back and do everything that we can. And we're blessed with awesome, awesome fans that really support all of our endeavors. So um, we've done everything from adopt a dog. We have a bunch of read to succeed. We did a ton of French appearances this year. We had a couple French guys, so that always helped. Um, and then we try to do a fundraiser once a month, everything from beer tasting, wine tasting, uh, the jerseys. We did St. Patrick's Day and military jerseys. So we really do quite a bit.